Boys, it's a big day. The Jeep is back from the upholstery shop. Now, normally in such a situation, I'd be a lot more excited. But there's a small dilemma. I'm gonna call it a dilemma. You can see I haven't slept over this. I didn't, I didn't even really wanna show you guys, but I'm, a, I'm going to, I'm gonna be transparent. So, let's go outside. I can show you the new top or sides of the top for the Jeep. So let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. I'll show you why I'm down. Let's go take a look. All right, I forgot that it's it's up there. It's up there. So let's go. Let's go up there. Take a look at it. So obviously I don't sew. So I had to have someone do this for me because if I did it, it wouldn't they would be like made out of duct tape or something. I don't know. And you know, I spent a lot of money to have this done. You know, because I want it to be right. Normally when I do something, it's pretty damn good I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of myself and things turn out pretty good now this let me let me just show you there it is you're gonna say wow well it looks awesome and uh, from 30 feet away you're right it does look awesome but as you get closer you start to see why I'm upset. Let me show you. Let's start uh, right here. So, not really sure what's happening there. Also, uh, quite a few wrinkles in this. More than there should be. Some more interesting stitch work. More interesting stitch work. Not great. And uh, it continues. It continues. more so normally I have a guy who's really good at this sort of thing but because of the time crunch for Jeep Beach he's like I'm a year out I can't I can't do it well and I said okay so I called up every single person I could find everyone that seems to be really good at it is a year out I finally found a guy he said yeah I can do it no problem boom boom right there I should have said uh, why is this the only person on earth that doesn't have a waiting list? There you go. Um, guy was really nice. I actually really like this guy. He was an older gentleman. Um, he's never done something like this before, which is understandable. You know, he does some older upholstery work on seats and sort of thing and great guy. And, uh, yeah, it's not like this is the worst thing in the world. It's just where everything else on this Jeep is absolutely perfect. This is not great. So he actually remade this piece up here because normally it would stop here. It kind of like went up here where the, where the other door was. So he remade, remade this whole piece, which is a great idea. It just, the stitching's horrendous and he made it to short so now this part doesn't come down enough because it doesn't go back far enough it's like that on both sides it's actually worse on this side as you can see it just will not come down no matter what I do so that's going on more bad stitching 
Um, from what I've heard from other people that know what they're talking about, that his machine might not have been set up right to go through this plastic, and that's why the stitching gets bound like that. So, unfortunately, before Jeep Beach, there's nothing I can do. Like, this is, this is what I'm going to have to live with. That's fine. After that, I'll get in with a shop that I'm used to, and they can, they can bang it out. Um, it's too bad. Hopefully, they can reuse this material because this material actually called up Best Top, found out exactly the material they used, the twill, where they get it from, the distributor they get it from, and ordered this, and it was like 850 bucks just for the material. So hopefully, they can reuse that and uh, reuse these panels and just clean it up a little bit. Fingers crossed they can. But as long as you stand back here, it looks pretty damn good. I love the concept. Anyway, the concept is exactly what I wanted. And I'm really excited for the next part of this Jeep build, which is coming very soon, I promise, because we got like three weeks before Jeep Beach. So yeah, I figured I would make this video as a, a bit of a lesson. You get what you pay for, do your research. When you're going to a shop, make sure they know what they're doing. Look at some of their past work. Um, don't just settle for the first guy that comes around, you know. I, in this situation, I was I, my hand was kind of forced, I, I had to get it done. So it's done, it's just not to the quality that I would want it to be at and at force motoring we kind of strive for quality so when you see this don't bust our balls too hard because we're working to remedy this so i hope that makes sense to you guys i hope you're following along with this build and uh yeah like i said the next part of it is coming real real soon so it just got new glass check this out all new fresh windshield because so I had a couple uh, smoke holes in it and new side windows on both sides so Parker's glass did that OP glass I don't even know the name of the company but they're awesome if you need their stuff if you're in the state of Maine they do great work they came right here to the shop and uh, hooked it up all right guys Next video on this one, suspension. So we'll see you there hopefully. Subscribe, like, comment as long as it's nice and not roasting me about this top. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.